Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Wednesday, January 10th. Stocks were steady, made new all-time highs once again yesterday, but finished with mixed markets, or somewhat mixed. Uh, we had the S&P up 5, the Dow up 100 to lead the day after it's been lagging behind, but the Nasdaq was essentially unchanged. Now, it was just a bit positive, so technically speaking, that's a seventh consecutive session in the green there. Something to pay attention to. Next week, January 18th, we'll be tying the streak for the longest uh, consecutive days without a 5% sell-off in stock. So we're coming up on that 390-some sessions. Uh, the last time this happened was 1994 to 1996. Something to think about. Crude oil surged yesterday, up $1.25, new all-time highs, closing at $63 a barrel. We talked about 65 is that upside target, closing in on that right now. And gold was down $7 at $13.13 as the euro currency actually closed below $120 and the dollar index has been holding its gains. So where do we stand here Wednesday morning to start the new trading session? Well, right now stocks are down. The story is bonds bombing uh, on concerns that uh, China may lessen their bond buying program and stop altogether. So we have saw, saw bond prices drop, yields skyrocket. We're right now we're at 2.6% uh, in the 10-year and 2.95% in the 30-year note. Getting back to stocks, we've got the S&P down 10, the Dow down 100, and the NASDAQ down 35. So it's a half percent uh, drop here in the stock index as a start. Crude oil is up 50 cents, new high, 63.50. 65 is that measured move target after we traded for a year between 45 and 55, a $10 breakout on top of those old highs, 65. And gold is bouncing back with this additional volatility. We're at 13.22. New relative highs there at 13.29. Uh, so right now we're up $8. You're seeing the dollar decline back down to 91.70. The euro currency jumping uh, back above 120 uh, once again. So the focus here on the VIX, we're not up that much considering the stock unwind that we saw overnight. We're at 10.50 up 50 cents, but it's still 15% above those extreme lows that we saw last July. So let's remember, we've talked about the volatility concerns here, that we've seen new highs almost every day this year and nowhere near those extreme lows in volatility. So something's got to give. So to summarize, with an hour to go before the cash stock market opens, stocks are lower, down a half percent across the board, S&P down 10, Dow down 100, and then NASDAQ down 35. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.